what's up cousins come on in come on in sit down and always remember don't touch nothing unless you can afford to replace it happy 12 days of christmas y'all i was gonna try to do vlogmas but i got overstimulated and overwhelmed about doing it all so i'm gonna try to do something a little different and try to give y'all 12 days leading up to christmas 12 days of christmas videos I appreciate y'all for coming to check me out. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that like and hit that subscribe button so you know every time I post a video. Today, day one of the 12 days of Christmas, we're going to go ahead and open up what I like to think of as the most anticipated shoe of the year. You know, every year around this time, we get a joy in 11, and this year was the Cherry 11. People were going crazy with so many, so, so many for us to buy. I'll try to put what the numbers was right here that was allegedly available. And everybody was trying to get them and they still sold out. You can still find some of the smaller sizes available. I was lucky enough to go ahead and get my pair through the Foot Locker app, 10 and a half. So let's just go ahead and jump on into opening it up. So what we have here is the Jordan 11 Cherries. Let's go. If you've been on this channel a couple of times or two and you've watched me talk about shoes, you will know that 11s and 4s are my favorite Jordan. We do have the Cherry 11 right here in hand that gives you the nice silhouette of the 11 with the Cherry Red. Nothing new, but it's true. You got your clear ice soles, your white red patent leather, got your red Jordan. On the tongue, of course. You got your Jordan on the tongue there as well. And then on the inside, your insole is red with the white Jordan. Icy bottoms with the red, with the red see-through, the red. And black carbon fiber. So, yeah. I mean, it's nothing new. It's nothing true to it. It just is what it is. We all was out here in these streets trying to get these. This was the shoe of the year like every year so all you little kids that had y'all out here doing all the raffles for their back to school after christmas your christmas pictures everybody gonna have these on <laughs> for the christmas pictures but they're in hand we love this kind of thing around here getting adding stuff to the collection y'all just saw that i also added the dj Khaled five to my collection so this is another pickup for the year trying to end it off right We'd have had a lot go on in the sneaker world as far as releases and apps freezing and the bots taking over. So, you know, it was nice to actually hit where I didn't have to sit and wait on sneakers app to tell me, yes, I won or yes, I didn't win. So it was really, really easy. Again, I hit on the Foot Locker app. Shout out to the Foot Locker app for showing love for this. Actually, the Foot Locker app has showed me a lot of love this year. I've won a couple of things because... I have, um, I'm the oldest of 11 and I do have two siblings that are now in middle school and they're getting into the, we want the Jordans too. I was the only one. Well, I do have a brother that's into it, but he's a grown man. He can do what he want to do for himself. But as far as me being responsible for purchasing, I have two siblings of the 11 now that are trying to get in on the shoe game. So I have been able to pick up a lot of stuff for them. You know, they got to stay fresh. Middle school is a bit tough. You got all the bullies and people telling you, you know, you got to look good because you ain't going to be talking about nobody that's related to me. And if you know me, I am known to have a pretty good sneaker game. Collection is long and strong. So I can't have my siblings out here just looking any kind of way. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Cherry 11s right here in hand. Went to the mall, picked them up. It was a long line, and there was a lot of people coming in and out um, trying to see if it was some available. But let's just go ahead and break that down for the people who really don't know how shoes go. You know, back in the day, we used to just go stand in line and just wait to see if we could possibly get a chance to get the shoes. So don't let your kids trick you. That's not how it goes anymore. Here in the 2022, you have to go into raffles on all of the sneaker stores that's close to you and if you win you have a certain amount of time to tell them yes i want these shoes no i don't then they give you a, um a specific time to where you go and pick these shoes up so then after everybody has picked up their shoes or have not picked up their shoes 
then you go to the mall and see what's left and if they still have your size. So to all those people who them kids, because it was older people, they had y'all out there in that mall and they was walking from store to store asking, I want to know if you got an eight. It's not how it works. Don't let them trick you like that. You get on, you fill out your raffles. Once you fill out your raffle, they have a specific day where they pull the raffles and tell you you can win if you don't win. And if you do, it sends you a notification. Make sure you have your notification set on all your apps so you don't miss out. And then they tell you, just like this. Even if you get a, you don't win. Because I actually got the notification that I did not win. Matter of fact, I think I got the screenshot. I think I saved it. Pretty sure I did. So, Look right here. And if it ain't enough to pop up right here, then I didn't save it. But I'm pretty sure I saved it. Look right here. It told me that I actually didn't win. I always go to the app and check just in case. And lo and behold, I did not win in my sibling size, but I did win in my size. So I was able to go ahead and hit the confirm and let them know that I was going to come and pick up these shoes. So even if you are getting the little notifications that say you're not winning, don't trust it. Go to the app. Make sure. Because I would have missed out if I had not went on to the app. Just a little, you know, trying to give y'all little tidbits. It ain't really no science to it. It's all luck of the draw. It's all luck of the draw. Nothing's guaranteed. I know a lot of people hit me up all the time saying, I need you to help me get this and get that. I'll help you do the work as far as on apps if I'm not getting on, if it's not in my size. But there, I do not have any connection. I don't. I fill out raffles just like everybody else. I'm on at 1059, ready to hit to get in on the sneaker for everything. I do win a lot. So I guess that does appear that I have something going on as far as a connection. But I don't. I just don't. So, yeah. Quick little rant. Day one, we're going to get into some stuff. We're going to try to... Um, I did ask some people, you know, what would be good ideas, what would be nice to be seen. So I got that list. I got 12 videos back to back that's coming to y'all. I'm going to try. I'm going to try because I need to be more consistent and I know this. So I'm going to hit y'all with the 12 days of Christmas. Thank you for watching my videos. If you're not subscribed, go on and hit the subscription. You know what I'm saying? Hit that subscribe button because it's a little ghetto around here. I know y'all see sneakers everywhere else but they ain't ghetto like that over here it just is what it is like i don't want to be professional here's the shoe i got it here you go take a look at it boom boom bang and that's what it is so y'all know the rules around blaze world we're gonna live our life to the fullest and we'll always always go be great and until the next video y'all know what it is